I don't really know that our house is still there, but I, from the photographs, our house is the only house in the neighborhood that's got a red roof, and I've seen that roof a couple of times. In a fire, you can see it coming. It doesn't pop up right under your feet, you know? And that's the main difference that I see, because, okay, that tree's on fire, I better leave, but, you know, there's a crack in the ground. Well, I've seen cracks in the pavement before, you know, but I didn't know that that meant that there's a lava tube underneath there. He had four acres to run in. And now he's confined to this. What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen with us? You know, if we lose our farm, we don't know where we're gonna go. You lose your income and you lose your home at the same time. All you can do is pray and hope. <laughs> Because you know, and, and try to get all the information you can. It's very hard. We don't. I say we don't have televisions here. Um, I'm going to go out and try to get even a newspaper. If the lava backs up, then it can pop out anywhere. And I'm closer to the volcano. <laughs> and each of the large quakes keeps on getting closer to the south flank and, and where I live. So um, it's a consideration. You know, I've, I'm somewhat fatalistic. If it happens, it happens. You know, and I've. I'm enjoying life here, so you know you put up with a lot of things here. <laughs> um, this eruption that's happening in Leilani could be days or weeks from now. It doesn't seem like there's a real close, definitive end in sight.